Today we're going to cover Stingray City. What is it? Where is it? How much it cost? How long it was? And how was it? Spoiler alert, I really, really enjoyed it. Prior to booking our trip to Stingray City, I was a little concerned that these things were penned or caged and I wasn't sure I wanted to participate in anything like that. But I'm happy to report that they're not penned and they're not caged as you'll see. They show up every day when the tours do because they know they're going to get fed and fed well. So it seems to be a win-win situation. I didn't see any abuse of these creatures at all and uh, I had a really good day. So sit back and relax and take a look through the polka dot door at Stingray City. We went to Stingray in December of 2021. We were staying at the Hawksbill Resort and we booked a day trip around the island, a private tour for the two of us, and this was the first stop. My understanding is if you would have got a cab from the resort that we're staying at to Stingray City, it would have been $30 US each way. So the more people you can cram in there like a clown car, obviously the better bang you're gonna get for your buck. So let's start by taking a look at where Stingray City is located. Stingray City is located on the northeast side of the island, about 17 kilometers away from the capital city of St. John's. Once you get there, you're going to go through the booth, you'll pay your 50 bucks US, you'll go through an orientation, I think it's about maybe 10 minutes, how to handle them safely and respectfully, and then um, you'll go for about a 5 minute boat ride out to the docks where uh, you do your snorkeling from. The water here is about chest high with white sand beneath it. You know you're getting close to the spot because you'll see a bright blue patch of water out of nowhere. On land where you pay to get in, they do have a snack bar and they have some decent washrooms there. I didn't go to the snack bar because we weren't staying long. We're over lunch. We're right around lunch time, so that's good. <laughs> The boat will take you out to a floating dock. From there you'll do your snorkeling. We were lucky we got there at a time that there were no other boats, so our group had the place to ourselves for the longest time. Often you'll see a smaller stingray under a larger one and I just assumed that was a mother and its child. As it turns out, the uh, smaller ones are the males and the larger ones are the females. So the males are around like two feet maybe, two and a half, and the females three and a half to four and a half feet, depending on which one you're looking at. These are called southern rays and they're pretty tame and they're pretty friendly. They are going to bump into you so that so if that's a concern for you, it's going to happen. Just know that they're going to sneak up behind you, but they, they don't attack or anything. They just nudged. Stingrays do like to bury themselves in the sand. So you don't really want to walk out there as much as you want to shuffle your feet. So they'll feel that and they'll get up and move.
you come yeah. in, just come yep. in and let's put it chair down like that. Just like how far down though? Yeah. Just like that. So they can swim over you. The daily special squid. You hold it so your thumb's not sticking up or it'll get sucked into the stingray's mouth on the way by. It's pretty much like a shop vac. It's one minute the squid's there and the next second it's gone. So sure the squids are slimy and they're kind of yucky, but I suggest you take the opportunity to feed one of these. You're probably not going to get another opportunity like that. It's pretty cool. So what is Stingray City? I thought it was just going to be snorkeling and I'd be seeing some fish and a bunch of stingrays. I had no idea it was going to be that many stingrays and I had no idea that it was going to be that interactive. So your 50 bucks gets you your boat to and from the docks that you snorkel off of, gets you a 10-15 minute orientation, uh, free drink when you're done, I think it was rum punch. And it gives you one hell of experience. I mean, if you have the opportunity to do it, it's worth it to me. It was, it was easily worth 50 bucks. From the time you leave the dock to the time you get back, the whole tour is about an hour and 20 minutes to an hour and a half. And you get an hour in the water with the stingrays minimum. I think we got a little bit more when we were there. The hardest thing you'll do is get in and out of the boat and up on the dock. So it's not really a strenuous activity. So it's good for all ages. Probably the best underwater experience I've ever had on vacation. Southern Stingray is known as the brightest stingray. I'm assuming that has nothing to do with its SAT scores, just the colors. As far as the crew went, the, those guys were really good, really friendly. Um, really brought some people out of their shell that were reluctant to want to be around these. There was a lady who didn't touch the ground, I don't think, for the first 15 minutes. But uh, they eventually got her calmed down. So overall, great experience. I you know, would definitely do this again, definitely recommend it. Um, I was impressed with how the how they came and went on their own. Um, really good thing. I would do this again in a heartbeat. If you'd like to be notified when we post another video, click on the bell icon. Please give it a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Or if you have a comment or question, leave it below. All those things help us get discovered more in the searches. I'll leave a link to Stingray City's website in the video description, as well as their social media accounts. Our next video is going to be uh, kind of a combination of two tours. We did one by land around the island and one by sea. So we'll kind of combine those two and kind of show you the sights that we saw when we were on the tour. Until the next time, cheers. The biggest blooper was me recording about what would have been nine minutes of more footage and decent footage by the looks of things on time lapse instead of regular speed. No idea how I did it. <laughs>